I need to learn the rules for dating. As an older person, <laughs> I, I don't want to shave my legs for the third date if it's inappropriate. <laughs> now, a friend of mine told me you're not supposed to get in a car with a guy. You're supposed to meet him at the restaurant. I kind of like the old days when he'd drive you home and walk you to your door. And if he liked you, he'd try to kiss you. These days, I guess he shows he likes you if he pops a Viagra during dinner. <laughs> <laughs> if I were writing the rules, rule number one would be to Google somebody. You know, like they have TripAdvisor, I think there should be Date Advisor. You know, you could put little stars after his name, rate him the stars. You could put dollar signs. <laughs> you can even check for availability. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Facebook. This one guy's Facebook page had so many selfies. I thought, how is a guy who's so self-absorbed ever going to make room in his life to worship the queen? <laughs> I need rules. I, I couldn't find out how young does a guy have to be for me to be considered a cougar. <laughs> I, I guess if someone asks if he's my grandson, that might be <laughs> but, but I don't mind picking him up from soccer practice. <laughs> the parent-teacher conference went real well. <laughs> check. But hey, that's worked for guys for years. <laughs> I think I could get a 20-something trophy too. I bought him a bicycle. <laughs> I'm not saying it's just about sex. I mean, a lot of the older guys that I know, uh, they think uh, they're more concerned about their bowels than their gender. <laughs> <laughs> of a little blue pill was excellent. <laughs> so, you know, it's not just about sex. I mean, I worry that that condom bulge in my back pocket just doesn't send a strong enough message. <laughs>